Thank you for tuning into Above and Beyond Cancer's Mindfulness Cafe series. We really do appreciate you being here because you're taking time out for your self-care. And that's what this series was created for, was to expand your mindfulness of these practices to promote your well-being. And speaking of mindfulness, you know, let's be a little mindful of why you're showing up here. You know, there must be something that sparked your interest that wanted you to, you know, learn more or just see what other practices you can apply, right, in, in your daily life. And this is what life's all about, right? Being curious and exploring and that then promotes your own wellness. Yeah. And I just want to go over also what mindfulness really is. And it encompasses two key ingredients. And that's awareness and acceptance. Awareness is the knowledge and the ability to focus attention on one's inner processes and experiences such as experiencing this present moment right now here with me. Are you here with me? <laughs> and then the other component is acceptance. It's the ability to observe and accept rather than judge or avoid, you know, those streams of thoughts that we have or even your current situation, which can be challenging, right? When you feel that you have no control over what's happening in your life or even changes with your body. And this is why Above and Beyond Cancer was founded, you know, to support those who have been touched by cancer. That's individuals, families, even communities. And this then expands, right? Bringing awareness to wellness practices that you can do yourself and also by connecting here with others and above and beyond cancer's amazing community, right? Utilizing their resources to support, you know, more of a balanced lifestyle for you. So speaking of balancing, this episode is about resourcing and that's finding a place either within or an external resource to bring balance back to the mind and body. And so that way you can experience that relaxation response that we've talked about in previous episodes, right? That rest and digest as we're working in the parasympathetic nervous system. And again, I have to ask, why is this important? Why are we here? Well, there's so much happening in our lives, right? Uh, things in the world, digitally, and it's just all the obligations that we put ourselves up to, right? So with all of this happening, our nervous system is activated and that's the sympathetic nervous system. Fight, flight, freeze, go, 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 or shut down. It's just overwhelming. And so when we're in the parasympathetic nervous system, then we can relax. You know, your heart rate can lower. We can get better sleep, better digestion, and our cells can regenerate. And it's just simply magical, our bodies. So... How do we switch this off, right? That sympathetic nervous system to the parasympathetic? Well, it's through these mindfulness practices that we're doing here, such as the breathing techniques we explored in day one, the self-awareness with the self-massage in episode two, and then episode three was the body movement and breathing with chair yoga. So check those out if you haven't had a chance to. And all these practices are very subtle, right? To show you the impact they have on your mind and body. And to do that, just to show your impact of that, we're going to check your resting heart rate before and after 
this experience. And so it only takes 15 seconds. If you've done this before, then you know what to expect. And it won't take that long and it's painless. So to measure your heart rate, simply check your pulse by placing your index finger and your third finger on your neck on the side of your windpipe. I like to kind of follow my jawline and just bring it down there. And soon you can feel that pulse. Or you can check your wrist right here, placing two fingers between the bone and tendon of your radial artery located on the thumb side of your wrist. And so I have a timer here that I'm going to turn on. So that way you don't have to worry about uh, keeping time with, with this. So just pulling up my timer really quick and getting your pulse and start. Great. And stop. And now those of you who are watching, you can write that on a piece of paper, your number, or those of you who are tuning in live, if you could please pop those numbers in the chat. And a normal resting heart rate is between 60 and 100 beats per minute. So what you would do is multiply that number that you just counted with your uh, pulse and by four to get the increments for a minute. So great, thank you for doing that. And now we can move on with resourcing. So resourcing is about being present in your body, being aware of what's happening within you. And for some people, it's very easy to get into the body. It's very easy to be aware of sensations. And some people, it can be a little challenging and that's okay. I want you to understand that's perfectly fine. We can focus on an external resource for you. And a resource is something that feels open. It feels good. It feels better than the rest of your body or an external resource. An example could be a picture of a loved one. It could be looking at your pet. You know, that just warms your heart right there, right? When you look at your pet or looking at a beautiful piece of artwork. So that's an external resource. So when I prompt you to find your resource, then you know what I'm talking about. So to begin this experience, we're going to get settled into our chair. If you're seated on the floor, focusing on your tailbone, and I want you to look away from your device, look at the wall, look out a window, gaze softly down at the floor, and just focus on where is my breath right now? Simply noticing how you're breathing without judgment, right? That's the mindfulness. Just being aware of how your body is moving with the breath. Good. And now I invite you to envision a light at the top of your head. It's a nice, soft, warm light. And it's going to scan all the way down from the top of your head down to your feet. And we're looking for an area of tension. This is a main area that you feel in your body. You might not even have to scan. You might know this area already, and that's perfectly fine. So we're not going into the story of why you're feeling this way or how this happened, anything of that nature. You're just noticing what is that main area of tension in your body? And once you find that main area, then I want you to focus on how it's feeling. Does it feel like a pull? Does it feel like a sharp pain? 
Does it feel like a dull ache? What is this area? How is it showing up? How is the sensation felt in your body? And if you're a very visual person, is there a color or a shape associated with this tension? Is it heavy or is it flat? These are just things to consider. And also it helps you to focus on this tension in your body as an external, instead of this is happening to me chronically all the time, right? We can see it for what it is, this tension. Good. And so in your mind, just how it feels, if there's a shape, a color, if there's any weight, even an odor to it. And just keep that in the back of your mind. And now we're going to scan once more from the top of your head down to your feet. And this time we're looking for that area, that resource. Okay, so it could be within your body or it could be that external resource that I talked about. So scanning or looking or just observing a place within or an external resource that you makes you feel open, right? You feel easier. It, it feels lighter, maybe. This space feels comforting. Good, and as you find that internal or external resource, then focus on how your body's responding to it. And you can even place your hand where you're feeling that response. Noticing, is there a color or a shape And as you're pausing there with your hand, where you're feeling this connection to your resource, how is the rest of your body feeling right now? Maybe you can breathe a little easier, taking a little bit more of a deeper breath in and out. Yeah, seeing if you can expand that resource, that feeling, that sensation, just a little bit more, right? Wherever you're feeling that in your body, see if you can expand that a little bit more. See if the color changes or if there's a tingly or warmth sensation that you're feeling now throughout your body. Yeah, just being here with that resource. Taking those easy breaths into that space. Knowing that this resource is always here for you. Whether that's the internal or external. And some days you'll find it easy to find an internal resource and other days, maybe not so much. So that's why it's important to also focus on an external resource. And as you're pausing here, breathing in with that sensation, that feeling, or even just feeling your hand there, knowing that you're there for you. That's also a beautiful resource. And now I invite you to check back in with that tension that you were feeling earlier. How is it feeling now? Has it eased a little bit? Maybe it's not as sharp or as heavy. How about the color? Has the color changed with that tension? 
Again, this takes practice, but if you can visualize your resource and that tension and see maybe how they're interacting. Regardless, just focusing on your resource and recognizing just how your focus, your attention impacts how your body responds, right? That mindfulness practice. Good. And I invite you again to just take another deeper breath in, seeing if you can expand the color or the sensation of your beautiful resource. See how that can help support other areas of your body. Our bodies are amazing things. It's a beautiful container to support you. It's always there for you. We just tend to forget. So another nice breath in and out. Really feeling the weight of your body sitting there. Again, reminding yourself that you can tune into this resource anytime, anywhere. And this will help balance right? The tensions, maybe even your thoughts, that overstimulation of thoughts that we have when we do feel all those sensations in our bodies. Good. And now bringing yourself back, feeling your feet on the floor or your tailbone on the cushion. And breathing your eyes open or bringing your focus back. And once again, we will check your resting heart rate. So finding your pulse, either on your wrist or the side of your neck. And start counting the beats now. and stop. And if you can write that number down on a piece of paper or pop that number in the chat if you're watching with me here live. And I want you to pause here and just witness what feels different after that. Not just how your mind feels different, but how is your body feeling? What did you notice that maybe you hadn't noticed before when you checked in with your resource? What was your resource even? And with this mindfulness practice, I highly encourage you to journal. So journal about before what you felt before this experience with resourcing, what your experience was during, right? what was your area of tension? How did it feel? What did it look like? And then what was your resource? How did that feel to you and look like? And then when you tune back into your tension, how did that shift for you? Or did it stay the same? And that's okay too. Right? It's, this is just a different technique, a tool to get you tuned into your body. Yeah, so when we journal or we be our, 
when we are more mindful about it and journaling, then that really sets it into our minds, our, our brains of, oh, this was good. I enjoyed it. You know, I want more of this. Or how can I use this resourcing when I'm feeling overwhelmed or anxiety, when I'm out in the world, or when something just overwhelming comes over me and I feel like I'm spiraling, you know, your body is here for you. Even though it might feel like things are a little wonky, shifting your attention, your focus on what feels better, even if it's a little pinky <laughs> or an earlobe, you know, what feels better? What feels more open or easier than the rest of me? Then that helps to dissipate that tension and that, that pulling or whatever that sensation you felt. So how was that for you? We have a few people here on the live call. If you would like to unmute yourself and share, as sharing is caring, <laughs> because other people probably have experienced the same thing as you, and it just helps to validate that I'm not crazy in my head of this resource and this tension, and that was kind of weird, you know, if this is something that's new to you, it might feel that way, it might feel a little awkward or uncertain of just what happened because we're usually outside of our bodies, right? So yeah, if anyone would like to share here about their experience, even so putting I, it in the chat. Oh, Tony, yes. I'm gonna say when I came onto the call, I talked about my ability to shift my energy, but, um, and I and we do have that. And my resource was, was really mental, like my brain and mind is my resource. Um, as I did that exercise, I would say my tension was, my area was in my shoulders where I carry my tension. And the word I would use to describe the, after the exercise is mellow. I just, everything just kind of mellowed out and just eased. I didn't, I didn't want to open my eyes and I'm going to go back to closing them now. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tony, for sharing your experience. Yeah, we all tend to carry a lot of tension here in the shoulders or in our heads because we're constantly looking or we're thinking we have to carry everything and do, 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 or hunched over as we're on the these electronic devices. So I really enjoyed hearing how you were able to, you know, find that resource and kind of melt that tension in your shoulders. Thank you, Tony. You're, you're welcome. Cynthia, I see that you're unmuted. Yeah, I had some issues with my feet. I don't know if it's like a pulsating, whatever, whatever. But as we started and you talked about this light at the very top of the head and then kind of scanning through down to the bottom of the feet, as soon as this light uh, got to my feet, whatever that pulsating was, stopped. Uh, so I just I just found that pretty incredible, the way that happened. Um, I had some difficulty with the with visualizing the the resource. Um, initially, I was looking at a plant and in my room and and um, I sort of carry that image with me. So I think that was part of that with the light and the visualizing the resource, I think combined um, and helped ease whatever that issue was with my feet. So if that's making any sense. <laughs> yes, it does. And, and just you being open and curious, right? With this light and allowing that to go through that's wonderful that you experienced, you know, that shift. Yeah, so wonderful. You. Do you think this is something, Cynthia, that you can maybe practice in the future? Definitely. Um, I know the breathing that from 
session one, the breathing is something that I, I practice uh, now and again. Uh, but this one, yeah, there, there were several. These these last three, well, now the fourth one, are, are definitely things that I could I could begin to practice and have begun to practice. So yes, thank you. Oh, you're most welcome, Cynthia. And um, Antonia says, energy flows where attention goes. Thank you so much. I enjoyed this. Have a blessed day. And then she had to, she had to leave. So that was the other person on the live call. And I'm going to pop Above and Beyond Cancer's uh, link in the chat. So if anybody and those watching afterwards, you, you can find their link in the description. So that way you can go to their website, see all their amazing resources, free resources um, such as this. And please share, right? Share these with other people. Uh, leave a comment. Let, let Above and Beyond Cancer know what you enjoyed about this experience and um, subscribe to support them. So thank you all for tuning in and keep living with intention. Indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're most welcome. Tools. Thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Tony.